All right, so hey everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel, Off The Beat. My name's Fabian, and I hope you stick around because today we're gonna to be talking about OTT. Uh, OTT compression, what does it do? How can you use it in your own tracks? We're gonna cover it a little bit in depth, but we're also gonna make it easy for you beginners so you can wrap your head around compression, multiband, and just OTT in general. So with that said, let's dive in and have a look. All right, so first image here, you can see we've got just like a simple waveform and that's just me talking. And that's represented by time because it goes over about 10 seconds. And then on the left, the Y axis, the vertical axis, we have DB, which is volume. And the blue line represents zero volume. And then the highest peak at the top there is um, the loudest part of the audio signal. So if we lower this this red line down, and the red line is uh, corresponds to the the threshold setting on a compressor. So if we lower the threshold level down, you can see some of these peaks starting to get poke up the top, poke above the top of the threshold. Now what a compressor does is it lowers the volume of the peaks above the threshold. This is called downwards compression. So we can choose how much we want that volume to be reduced or gain to be reduced by the ratio setting. Having a ratio setting of say two to one means that every two decibels of signal that are above the ratio, only one decibel gets let through or a ratio of five to one. For every five decibels above the ratio, only one gets through. So you can use the ratio to determine how much compression you want. Now let's talk about upwards compression because there is upwards compression in multiband compression. So what upwards compression is, it works on the same manner except for any volume that is below the threshold gets turned up. Where before it was any volume above the threshold gets turned down. So it works in the opposite of a downwards compression. So now on this second image, I want to show you what multiband means. Now I took a snapshot of that of that um, vocal that was recorded that you saw before, and you can see that represented in this image here. And you can see the hertz, so anywhere from 20 hertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. And we have the decibel, which is the volume on the y-axis, and yeah, the hertz on the x-axis. So you can see these these different colored bands here represented with numbers one, two, three, four. Now the one represents from 20 hertz to 140 hertz, which is bass. We have two hertz, uh, two sorry, which is 140 to 2k, which is mids. Then we have 2k to 10, which is high mids, and then 10k to 20, which is highs. Now each one of these bands can be compressed differently. Now a normal compressor will compress the signal as a whole, where a multiband compressor will compress individual frequency bands. All right, so let's drag in a multiband compressor, and that is in audio effects, multiband dynamics, and then just click and drag it on here. Now you can see we have the highs, mids, and lows. Now each one of these, these are bands is controlled with the controls in that row. So you can see we have the frequency range of each band. The mids don't have the controls because it's just in between these two settings. We have an input to control the input signal. We have an output to control the output signal. And then this section at the back here is the master output and a master attack control and a dry wet knob. Now this is where it starts getting a little bit confusing, but I'm going to try and clear it up a little bit and then we can move on to OTT. So this section, these boxes here represent the threshold of the downwards compression. So now we can see um, we're lowering the threshold of the downwards compressor, the compressor, and then we're raising the threshold of the upwards compressor. So if we click in and drag inside of this up or down, now we're changing the ratio. So this is probably going to be like a six to one ratio or something like that. And we can check that by having a look, seven to one ratio. And you can see it's changing there. If you want to look above for downwards compression, you can see we're changing it there like that. Now you can do this, you can compress each individual band separately. Now, when it comes to multi, uh, sorry, to OTT, let's drag an OTT on here as well and get rid of this one. You can see this preset has already compressed the sound. So now let's load this onto a sound and see how it affects that sound. Okay, so I've just loaded up the standard Ableton piano here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the OTT on it 
disable it, and I'm going to show you what it sounds like before OTT. And now after OTT. As you can hear, there is a lot more harmonics and a lot more excitement going on in that top end. And that is basically because of all of this, this compression that's happened in here. It is really compressed the whole sound, downwards compression and upwards compression. So rather than get stuck into all of this stuff, we can simply use these three knobs here to choose how much of that compression we want to use. Let's listen to this and adjust and lower the dry wet knob until we find a sweet spot. Okay, so I've chosen three instruments here, a piano, a bass and a super saw, and I'm going to show you each one with and without OTT. Okay, so to summarize, OTT is just compression on individual frequency bands. Now, as a beginner, I would just use the output, the time, and the amount knobs to your advantage and forget about everything else. Then experiment with using it on different, different instruments, like you can use this thing on everything. And also, if you want to emphasize your effects, put the effects before the OTT. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helps, and I hope it's helped shed some knowledge on compression and on multiband dynamics and all that sort of stuff. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the bell notification, and I'm going to continue making them. So I'll see you when I see you. Oh,